So then of how much? Remember, this is the continuation of the last video. This is the continuation of the last video due to some problem, okay? So 70 equals to 7 implies d equals to 1. They have a common difference is 1. They have a common difference is 1, okay? So here you can see one thing here. You may have a doubt that generally I use that A17, A10. Now here I have used A T17, T10. No problem, I have only shown you TN or AN, which whatever is possible, you can take it so there will be no problem. Okay? Okay then, let's see. Next one. So they have a common difference is? They have a common difference is? One, remember that. Okay. Now, next one. Which of the term is will be 132 more than 54th term? Which of the term is 32 more than uh, 132 more than 54th term? So, number term is missing. <coughs> Let number of term B and according to questions according to question what is that C which term A will be 132 more than 54 term so T54 132 more than so plus 132 equal to Tn. Then what is that? A. What is A? A is A3. 3 plus 53. So what is the common difference? Common difference here is how much? 15 minus 3 equal to 12. So 12 plus 132 equal to 3 plus n minus 1 into 12. So then this 3, 3 cancel. Then what is that? 12 n minus 1 equal to. So uh, 3, 12 to 36, 6, uh, 3 left, 5 to the 60, 63, 63 plus 132 implies n minus 1 equal to 8, 6, 7 by 12. So 6 and then 4 implies n equal to 65. So therefore, which is the term? 65th. Term. 65th term is equal to that is 132 more than the 54th term. 65th term is 132 more than 54th term. Okay. Now, now this is another interesting one. Okay that uh, I have already, uh, last time when I have given an example, I have shown you that, uh, that a multiple of 8, multiple of 5, multiple of 3. Now here, equation number 13, you see, how many 3 digit number are divisible by 7? How many 3 digit number is divisible by 7? Now first of all, what do you mean by 3 digit number? 3 digit number starting from? Starting from 100. Till 99, 2 digit. 10 to 99, 2 digit. 1 to 9, it is 1 digit. 100 to 999 is the, which is the, the 3 digit number. So let's see. So first of all, you write down that 3 digit number. Okay. Write down the two digit number. So now 
when you write the three digit number, you have to check the first three digit should be divisible by seven. So if you see that uh, uh, divisible by seven, then you have to know the multiplication method. See, 14 7 is 98. 14, 13 7 is 91. Then 15 7 is 105. So first, three digit number divisible by 7 is 105. Then 105. Then 119. Then that way. Now, 999. Now you divide. 999. Then seven one seven two nine four twenty eight. Then what is that? One nine. Then two. Then one four five. So what is that? Nine nine four. Clear. Just you subtract this five from here. Then you will get the number divisible by seven. And then to find out the number of terms, it is same as question number uh, uh, 10 and all. Okay, it is same as question number 10, question number 5. Okay, so same as that one. So, only thing is that you have to start with that one. Okay, so 105, then 112, then 119. Then, how will you get that the last term, that last three digit number, largest three digit number you decide, 999, then divide by that. The whatever remainder is there, that remainder you subtract from 999, then you will get 994, okay? So this is 13, then 14 also same, 14 also same, 14 you see, what is that? 14 is, uh, how many multiples of 4 lie between 10 and 250, here I already fixed, 12, uh, 10 and 250, so first one is 12, 16 dot, 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 dot. now 250 so 250 definitely not divisible by divisible by 4 then what is that 248 same process you can take out 240 248 see 6 half uh, 6 for the 24 then 4 to the 8 okay so you what so you see a equal to 12 D equal to A, uh, D equal to how much? 4, because multiple of 4. And AN equal to 248. It implies 12 plus N minus 1 into 4 equal to 248. Then what is that? 4 N minus 1 equal to, now 12 will subtract. So it will be 2, 3, 6, and then n minus 1 equal to 2, 3, 6 divided by 4, so 5, and then 9. So n equal to 16. So how many times? Therefore, there are, there are 60 terms multiple of 60 times multiple of 4. So same one, you can do this one also. So same method, okay? That you see here, whatever you have taken, same one here. Then you see D, D here is 4, multiple of 4. Here it will be 7, because multiple of 7. Then last one, then A n equal to, here A n equal to 9 and 4, and then 3. Okay. Then, <coughs> let's see. Uh, question number 15, for what value of n are the inner term of AP, AP are equal, what term, for what value of inner term of the AP are equal, for what term, okay. So, now question number, question number 15, okay. Fifteen. See here you see for what value of n 
actually same one you got that question number 11 that uh, which term of this is 132 more than 54 term so again also same actually for what value of n the nth term of the two ap are equal so see one is a1 a1 equal to 63 a2 equal to how much? Next it is 3. D1 equal to how much? Say 2. D2 equal to how much? D2 equal to 7. Then AN equal to TN. Two different series. Then you see 63 plus N minus 1. D equal to 3. So here you can write down. So 2, 3 plus and minus 1 into 7. Then you see. So 7 bracket n minus 1 minus 2 bracket n minus 1 equal to 63 minus 3 implies 5 and minus 1 equal to 16 implies n minus 1 equal to 12 implies n equal to 13 so there were 13 term of the two sequences are equal 13th term there were 13 term of the two series are equal 13 term first also 13 term second also 13 term are equal clear because this one this one is going on uh, by decreasing by increasing by 2 and this one increasing by 7 and that's why this 12 the 13 term will be equal clear okay then then we will proceed with the so question number 17 uh, now we will do question number 17 okay 17 also another interesting one what is that? See, so long we have done from starting. Now we have to do from the back. Now you see, suppose I am standing here and I have to go back. What do you do? 